Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got another unboxing, and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Nerf Rebel Heartbreaker Bow. And as you guys can see here, we have the purple edition. Um, it comes in two colors, which we'll show here in a second. But we're just going to go ahead and unbox them, show you guys what comes in the box, do a quick little test fire, I guess you could say, to show you how the action works on it and stuff like that, and then uh, give a personal opinion on the first portion of it. This is not a review, guys, just a first opinion, first look at the Rubella Heartbreaker bow. So, as you can see, this is the purple edition. We're gonna go ahead and slide in a blue edition, which is pretty much, it's the exact same bow, everything's the same, it's just got these new color schemes here on the blaster itself. We're not gonna be opening the blue one uh, right now, but we are going to go ahead and open up the black and purple one. I decided to go with this one just because it matches all the other ones I have, and so we're gonna stick with it. Uh, first thing on the box, not a whole lot. It shows the blaster itself. Again, advertising up to 75 feet. Comes with five collectible darts. These darts are the printed darts, so they actually have the uh, printing on them. Uh, that's pretty much it on the front. On the back, it shows, once again, how to load the dart, pull the string back, release string to fire. Uh, again, advertisements for all the same uh, accessories and such on that side. And that's pretty much it. Uh, barcodes down here, which we'll go ahead and show now. That's all that information, as well as advertisements for the Rebel... Uh, it's called nerfrebel.com website. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and see how this thing opens up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, one thing really cool is they've actually just released, as of today, a new Target exclusive edition of this blaster, which should be pretty interesting. It's supposed to be a gold uh, color scheme. And I, if they do come out with those, I will actually be doing an unboxing video of those. Uh, I really, I've decided I'm going to do a couple of these special edition uh, blasters just for the fun of it, just to kind of show you guys what some of the other color schemes are. Now, I'm not going to promise you I'm going to do that, but I do plan on it as of now. Now, there's a lot of tape on these, so give me a second here while I try to find all of it. Okay, that should do it. There we go. And this side should come off now. Okay. So it opens up pretty much like all the other ones have. The boxes are not necessarily a box. They're just an open face kind of style of box. And as you can see, we open it up here. Uh, looks like it's held in by a little bit of twine up here on the front top. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But we're just going to go ahead and cut that. Oops. Let me just cut the blaster a little bit. Um, go ahead and cut the twine around the dart holder. Maybe. As well as the twine around the uh, bow arm, I guess you could say. Okay, and then it looks like it's also being held in down here. Now we're just going to go ahead and cut the box and try to pull it out, maybe. Wow, I really don't want you getting into this thing. Okay, um, maybe, there we go. Okay, so there's the blaster. As you can see, uh, pretty large, actually, compared to the crossbow. Um, also in here, we have our darts, which do appear to be taped in. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and cut the box here. Maybe. I do apologize for the unboxing portion of this. I might speed through a little bit of it. That was pretty fast. As you can see, we have the darts inside. Again, these are, let's see, code W darts. Uh, for those of you interested, and it comes with five of them, all in different colors. Pretty cool. And then the instruction manual, which appears to be, I think, just the standard yeah, pamphlet, just showing you how it works. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go ahead and set the box to the side now that I've destroyed it. And bring the blaster back on, into frame here. Um, as you guys can see, it's actually fairly large. I wasn't expecting it to be too much um, bigger. The handle is very comfy. Um, the drawstring portion back here is small, which I like. Um, it's actually more, I guess, similar. Um, yeah, the pull on it's a little bit different. It's got an actual bumper here, so you're not marking it up. It has the dart holder on top, which is removable for those of you. Um, I know personally this is going to be a huge plus for this. Um, it is only a five dart, but I believe this will work on any in strike rail. At least it appears to be. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and try it on our strife that we have for size comparison. Yes, it does attach to in-strike rails. That's actually pretty cool. Um, it's pink, but, you know, it'll work. Uh, so that's neat. It does have a tactical rail, I guess you could say. Pretty much the only accessory that's going to work are these dart holders. So um, we're going to go ahead and pull it back here. 
and I'm guessing that fires. Um, there's a appears to be a sort of green thing here that pops out in the back once you've pulled it all the way. I'm guessing, and then it actually fires. We're gonna go ahead and load it up with uh, an elite dart here, and go ahead and fire it. Okay, so it's getting fairly decent ranges. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time here. Okay, that one was horrible. Um, it's a little difficult to actually pull it back and prime to be ready to fire. Um, those aren't getting quite as good. It's a lot of kind of gliding, I guess you could say. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a good shot here of firing out. Okay, um, fairly accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple more here. Not so accurate on that shot. Um, okay, so it's getting okay ranges. Again, you have to pull it back really far uh, for it to fly forward. Um, this string actually catches my arm a little bit here, as you can see, when I'm pulling it back far enough. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. I guess it's more like an actual bow in that fact. Um, the dart holder up top here holds the darts, and it holds them very snug. Um, the darts don't like to come out of these, actually. So that's really nice. Um, the darts aren't going to be, you're not, I don't think you're going to be wanting to pop these up out. I think you're going to want to pull them out, uh, sort of like that, and then load them, uh, because otherwise you're going to tear the darts up. Um, other than that, the actual bow arms don't flex. Um, they are plastic material. That's not going to allow them to flex. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, to go ahead and give a size comparison here, uh, we've got a strife. Like I said, I'm not sure how to exactly show this. It's basically the length of two stripes, which is fairly large size, actually. I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, as far as operation, just here, shooting it really close, um, it's iffy. I'll have to do a little bit more testing to see what kind of, if you can get a consistent range and stuff like that out of it. Um, right now, it seems to be just kind of sketchy on whether or not it's going to go real far or not, just depending on how far you pull the bow back. One thing to note, I think you do have to pull a bow um, back to a certain point before it'll even fire. Yeah, you can pull it back all the way and then you actually have to engage the spring to before it'll actually fire. So to here it's not gonna fire, that little bit more allows you to fire and you're gonna wanna pull it back as hard as you can. Overall, I guess it's, it seems a little bit finicky at the moment. We'll get a little bit better review up once I've used it and such. I'm actually impressed with it. I like the idea, I like the design. Um, I like just the whole feel of it. It's very comfortable in the hands. This is a little bit small, honestly, for three fingers. I've got fairly small fingers and it's pretty tight in there um, I guess two fingers is what it's meant for but as far as the blaster itself I think it's got great um, character I guess you could say and it looks really cool and it should be a lot of fun to use uh, I think that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below um, or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerf to me too um, if you have any other ideas for videos leave them down there as well and I'll get back to you as soon as possible hit the subscribe button I greatly appreciate it and have a nice day